Hey everyone, this is Sebastian with iPhoneDownloadBlog.com filming uh, this from my iPhone 3G using Psycorder, this cool little application. Uh, today I want to talk to you about how to add IPA files, uh, which is applications, cracked iPhone games and applications to your iPhone. Um, I posted this on my blog, iPhoneDownloadBlog.com uh, the tutorial is pretty detailed, um, but still some people are having issues and the most, pro the most common problem is that people don't follow directions. Uh, some people email me and telling me everything they did and I notice they forget half of the stuff. So um, go to the blog, iPhoneDownloadBlog.com, look for this post called How to Add IPA Files to Your iPhone and you get detailed instructions and you follow everything, if you read from the first uh, word to the last one, you shouldn't have any problem. I did it again yesterday, I updated my phone with 2.1 and I had to redo the process, I followed my direction that I wrote and I didn't have any problem at all. So let's, let's check it out, let's see, uh, first you want to go to iPhoneDownloadBlog.com, okay, check it out, that's my, uh, that's my website, that's my blog, so go there and look for this post called how to add IPA files to your iPhone. See, it was added on August 4, so it's over a month old. So the first, uh, the first uh, there's a few paragraphs that tell you about it. Uh, so I encourage you to read this. Um, so first, uh, before starting, um, I want to tell you that this works for all firmwares. So whatever firmware you are using is going to be after 2.0, it's, it's going to be working. The only thing that, that's different from, um, from a method to another is the mobile installation file. Um, you have to have the mobile installation file for your firmware. So this means if you're still running um, iPhone 2.0 firmware, you need the mobile installation, fi installation file for 2.0. Uh, right now, uh, I am on 2.1 and I started tracking after 2.1 so I've got a link on this site, on this page uh, to go download the mobile installation files for 2.1 uh, if you are before 2.1 just do a quick Google search and you should be okay um, so first thing you need to be on a jailbroken iPhone with Cydia installed so if you don't know what that means, I wouldn't even try to add IPA files because it's it's too much. So you you probably know what I mean right now. You need to be in a jailbroken iPhone with Cydia installed. Uh, so you need to have Quick Pond upon your uh, your iPhone, and you can see my tutorials to learn how to do this. You need OpenSSH uh, from Cydia. OpenSSH will allow you to get it inside your phone from your computer and move some files around uh, and uh, you will need uh, WinSCP so WinSCP works with OpenSSH WinSCP, um, WinSCP is like your uh, computer browser if you're on a Mac I think you can use CyberDuck I'm not sure about that but uh, look for SCP Mac on Google and you should find what it is I think it's called CyberDuck like a duck like um, so the first thing you want to do is log into WinSCP. Uh, let me get a, some coffee here. Uh, just moved to a new place, kind of messy around me, sorry guys, but... Uh, a great coffee, a great coffee. Um, so yeah. First thing you want to do is log into WinSCP, which I'm doing right here. WinSCP is here. And it's going to open. Um, it's going to ask me to choose my connection. And usually it's 1.4 at my. Yeah, it's this one, so it's opening. So you should know how this works. I don't want to explain you how WinSCP works and everything. Um, okay, I'm in. So this, this side, the left side, is my computer. So we can go, for example, to desktop or something. And this, the right side, is my iPhone. Like, what's going on my iPhone? 
come on, okay. So the first step is, let go check it out, navigate to pri private var mobile folder. So I go in WinSCP, I look for private, here it is, var, here it is, mobile, and I'm in. It says create a, a folder called documents. Well, I already created this, uh, this, fo this folder, so call it documents. Make sure you spell it right. Make sure, make sure you've got a capital uh, D on documents. So to create a folder, you just do a right click and create new directory and boom, you're done. Um, I think you need to set up, uh, to set, um, yes, you need to set permission to this folder. So once the folder is created, you make a right click on the folder you go to properties and you set permission to 0777 and uh, I thought you were supposed to yeah make sure reclusive is checked so this should be checked for some reason it's not on mine but it's still working so I guess you don't have to do that um, so that's the first step okay what is the second step I don't know this by heart um, navigate navigate to private var mobile applications folder so you're already in there uh, so you, you're already in there you just created this document folder here now you go into the applications folder here and oh, I might have missed a step private var mobile application make sure to spin hmm Hmm. How come? I don't understand that. I think I missed all my thing. You gotta go to application and desktop. Documents. Yeah, sorry about that. So you go back to your root level and go to applications and create another uh, folder called documents. Okay, so here it is. Um, and then you set up the permission for it too. And now you're gonna go to system library, private frameworks, mobile installation framework, system library, private frameworks, mobile installation framework. So let's see, system library, uh, private frameworks and mobile installation framework. Okay, here it is. You're gonna have a, um, a file called mobile installation. Um, so you just add .bak to this mobile installation. .bak for backup. If you fuck up, you can always come back to here, remove the .bak extension, and your your um, your file will be okay. So you should have downloaded the mobile installation patch. And again, I give you the link on my site to this. And so you just drag and drop this mobile installation patch in here, and that's it. Um, so that, that's about it. Um, then once you've done that, you need to set permission uh, on the private mobile installation framework to 775. And again, all this, this is your details. All this is explained on, on the tutorial on my site. Then you reboot your iPhone or your iPod Touch. Uh, you download some IPA files from anywhere you want. Again, Google is your friend. Um, and very important step that most people don't do is downloading at least one application from the Apple Store. So you go to iTunes, you download an application, a free one. Download an application, you sync it with your phone. Then you go to, on your iPhone, you open the App Store app on your iPhone, download one more application, a free one of course, and or paid if you want to. Um, and this will create a path on your iPhone that will allow you to not have problem later on. So you have to do this. Most people don't do that. And they comment, oh my phone is stuck in reboot, this doesn't work, this doesn't work. And then they email me two days later, oh actually I didn't do this, yeah I didn't add an application. So you have to do this, it's very important. So then you're almost done. I mean, you just need to drag and drop IPA files 
from your computer into iTunes, into the iTunes applications library. You plug in your phone, you sync, and you're good to go. Um, so that, that's basically it. Again, it's very easy. Uh, there's no much, not much involved. Um, I, you can do this in about uh, five minutes tops. So again, go to the website, uh, iPhone download blog dot com and uh, if you go on the side of the site there he, here it is here you get install IPA files on your iPhone it's here it's always here so you can just go here and click this and you'll find out all right uh, thank you very much people I talk to you soon bye